Welcome to Warbrick and Koo's Reviews. I'm your host, Warbrick and Koo, and today we are looking at Trans Metal 3, no, 2, uh, Megatron. So I've had this figure for several days now, and uh, well, weeks actually now, and I've not had a chance to review it with Christmas and everything like that around the corner, but let's just say I absolutely love this figure, even though something's mistransformed down here. There we go. Absolutely love this figure. This thing is awesome. Um, it is a difficult figure to review just because of how big it is. Sorry for that. I'm going to have to zoom out just a bit so you guys can see everything because he is a big boy. So let's get this camera in a better way. There we go. So um, back to Mr. Megatron Transmetal 3. He is the basically commander, not commander class, leader class figure of this wave. And they are some bangers. Transformers just does never really fail. Do they have repaints sometimes? Yes. Do they have, re, you know, remotes? Yes. But they have so many figures that are brand new and never used before and won't be used a ton. Um, it's not even funny. Like, what they're doing here in-house with Transformers versus what they're doing with uh, Marvel Legends, it's night and day. It's night and day. So, um, the Dragon Mode is phenomenal. He comes with one effect piece and that's this flame. And yes, it does connect. Does it look awesome? You damn right it does. Look at that. That is damn sick. I mean, how many times have you seen an effect? Look at that. How many times have you seen a character this big at a leader class price? If this is Marvel Legends, this thing would probably be about $70 to $100, you know? I mean, this is like $60 now because they did raise the prices, so I can't really give them too much more credit um and there is some paint effects here on my feet here which is kind of hard to see in that angle let's make it look closer there you go you can kind of see they're a little chipped a little a little scummy here at the bottom but for the most part most of the other paint they do use looks good they don't give a lot of paint but they give you some highlights on the neck on the face the teeth are nice chrome um the plastic on the hands I mean, they give you some nice, uh, some paint where it should be. Uh, but, again, this, just playing with this figure, just messing around with it, I, I've probably messed with this figure more than any other Transformer this year because he's just so fun to kind of pose around with his tail, his head, his neck. Um, you can get him all types of sick poses. It's just a phenomenal figure. This alt mode, it's where I have 10 for this, its price range, what they've done to it, um, I have to give it a 10. I have to give it a 10. I give this a perfect score. I know it's not perfect, but man, I don't know if they could have done much better budget-wise for this price. Maybe a 9.9, .9, okay? 9.9, .9, so that way we're just always leaving them room to do better. Oops, sorry about that. Now, we'll compare this next to Leaders Class uh, Megatron, so... Now, doing this comparison just so you know what exactly you're getting. Um, is he a little bit more bulkier? Probably, but this one's definitely a bigger and heavier figure. Well, yeah, a little heavier, too. Um, and he's more fun to transform than this guy. This guy is a pain in the ass to transform. I, got, I bought a second one just so I would never have to transform him again after I got him in this mode. So, yes, I literally have two Megatrons now. So, that's that's a fun fact. Um, cool thing is you can actually add this effect piece and put it in Megatron and, uh, that looks awesome. So I think you can use this in Grimlock too. I'll have to check later. So yeah, um, 10 out of, 9 .9 out of 10 so far. Let's take a look at the, um, what mode is that again? Oh, the, 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 the robot mode. All right, here we go with uh trans metal megatron 2 in his robot form and he is once again looking awesome here he is next to a standard marvel legend you can see he's towering above him above him let's get him next to a transformer there's voyager class uh kickback i'm sorry 
Deluxe Class Kickback. And there is Voyager Class Star Scream. So you can see, he's a big boy. He's a very big boy. Uh, he is definitely in my running for Transformer of the Year. Um, he's a lot of fun. He's not a terrible transformation. It's not super hard. I know some people like having the wings down like this because I know in the show he also had his wings down like this most of the time. But I kind of like the wings out. Um, I do worry about over time if they like, kind of like get that old like plastic degrading since they are like translucent. But here how it looks from the back. Now, I believe mine is transformed correct. I don't think it goes all the way in. There's like a clip in the back that's hard to see. Let's see if I can get a little closer. Uh, but it's back there. And actually, no, it's not pegged. Oh, no, it is pegged in. There's a clip down in this side here that's supposed to stay pegged in. And it kind of doesn't want to do that all the time. So it's a bit of a pain. Um, but yeah, as I look at it, I do have it in. It's just not really staying in and for the sake of this video so you guys don't have a whole bunch of nothing on the screen i'll just move it so yeah it's not the easiest peg to keep in and if you push it in too hard unfortunately it unpegs this top part up here so bit of a pain but besides that um a small backpack is the price to pay he does have a ponytail he can move and abduct and all that good stuff so i think it's nice um he can ratchet his arms, has that nice range. Um, however, because of the arm, you can't really twist and turn it like you would want to. Like, I would want to face it more this way, but I can't really do that with this arm. So, again, one of the limitations with having um, a, a leader size budget, I believe if this guy was a commander size, then he would have been even better. But, um, all in all, I, I do think he is an awesome figure. He's got some nice articulation. Look at that. Knees look good. He looks very powerful, imposing. Um, this is the Megatron that uh, you've been waiting for. So if I had to rate him, uh, and, I, and I'm sorry, I love these claws. Look how they, these were his cl dragon claws. They come out of his chest. See that right there? To grab on here on these indentations. How freaking awesome is that? I mean, that's just badass. I'm sorry. Um, but if this had a, a bigger budget, like a commander class, this thing would have been crazy. I actually wish I would, we would have saw that, but I don't know if they could have uh, could have uh, had enough people to buy that. So maybe that's why they didn't. But I'm still going to give this figure out of 10. I'm going to give this mode an overall 9.2. And that's strictly because I can't get this to turn around and face forward. You can't really turn it because there's no really ability to turn it because of the way it moves. It moves this way and that way, but you can't twist it. There's no bicep twist here, so you can do that. So that's unfortunate. But um, again, 9.2. Overall, I'm going to give this figure a 9.5. And he is definitely in the running for one of the top figures of this year as well as one of the top figures uh, for Transformers. So, yeah, he's 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 that good. So, if you do see this guy, I really hope you buy him. If not, you're going to miss out. Until next time, my fellow Transformers, peace and until all are one.